hotter than a hot girl making a burger for you on a hot summer's day. We're gonna actually make really, really simple chuck burgers with some basil, a little bit of brie, and Andra, my, my, one of my oldest friends, is gonna help us cook. To start off, we have these burgers that are already formed. We're just going to make a little bit of a divot here. And Andre, if you want to season these with salt and pepper while I'm sure. doing this, that would be really great. And we're actually going to go ahead and put them straight onto the skillet. Um, normally, you could definitely use a grill if it's preheated to like medium high. Very, very simple. We're just going to plop them straight into the skillet like this. As you can hear, it's a hot skillet. Um, I'm putting it divot side down first, but you don't have to. Actually, either way works really well. Andre, if you want to go ahead and just go ahead and put in this half pint of tomatoes, you can just dump them in right there. Right in. Um, and we have a little bit of red wine vinegar and water. That's what that is. This is a tablespoon of honey. Just for a little bit of sweetness, we're making kind of a jam. A little bit of jam. Very delicious. There we go. You can already see that this is caramelizing. It's, it's going pretty quickly now. So we're going to take a break, let these guys work there, um, and go over and make our sangria. We have a lime and orange that have been sliced. Just put it right in? Yeah, absolutely. And we have a pint of kumquats, which, again, depending on what season you're in, or you know, this would be really great with Meyer lemons, grapefruit, we're going to make a white sangria with a vino verde. You can continue with these um, kumquats sure. as well. We have Vino Verde here, which is a Portuguese, slightly effervescent, a really sweet and fruity wine, perfect for this exact use. Actually, if you didn't have time and you wanted to go ahead and use this, you could definitely go ahead and just have the Vino Verde instead of the sangria and everything. Delicious, totally delicious. And we have actually just a quarter cup of sugar. And that's a half cup of brandy. Okay. And this is a quarter cup of triple sec, which you just totally have to have on hand because of margaritas anyway. So that works. And the finishing touch. Exactly, a bottle of vino verde. But if you didn't have vino verde, you could go for um, something else, anything else really, like a light wine. I would probably stray away from like a really oaky Chardonnay, but anything's pretty good. Um, so you just pour it in, let that go. We're gonna put this um, in the refrigerator for about two hours. We'll probably booze it up earlier than then, but you know, it's best if you can leave it for as long as you can. So we'll see you in a second with our perfectly cooked burgers. This quick tomato jam is totally done. It just simmered for a couple of minutes. Andre poked it down with a fork, so you just get them to all the juices to flow out of them and thicken up a little bit. So that's done. We're just gonna pull these burgers off the skillet They've been cooking for about five minutes on the first side and about three minutes on the second side and then adding this piece of brie um, to get it to melt. Really delicious. Oh, it looks great on top there. And now I'm going to add these buns to the skillet over here. Really simple. We're just going to, do you want to get the second one? Sure. Um, we're just going to throw them on this hot skillet. It's only going to take about two minutes. Um, just look, sort of like a grilled cheese. Just get a little bit brown, a little bit of extra flavor. So delicious, and any man in your life will totally appreciate the detail. So um, the now we touch. have these very delicious burgers that are ready for consumption. Um, do you want to pour some Absolutely. sangria? Sweet, sweet. Um, we have a quite hot skillet over here. And maybe I'll take a little bit of the fruit and put that in. Perfect. To the cup as well. I like that we're including the oranges. <laughs> a nice little taste of home. Exactly. We're from Florida originally, so we have to get the oranges in there. So actually, um, these guys, because of the pan size only, um, they're not going to get as browned as I would like as if you'd used them on a grill. Um, as you can see, it pretty much only got the edges. But if you used a large skillet, that one's a medium. If you used a large skillet, that would definitely work. Um, but we're just going to... Go ahead and plate them, because they're gonna be delicious. They're buttered anyway. All we need to do is just throw a burger on a bun. Really simple, really delicious. Throw a couple of basil leaves. And just a little bit of this tomato jam. If I didn't mention before, you can definitely use whatever tomatoes you like. 
Um, since it's June, you have a variety of options. I like cherry tomatoes with a little added sweetness, but you could go for whatever favorite heirloom or anything that looks best in your market. And I like these, they're all the different colors. You have the red, the yellow, the orange. It makes it so beautiful when you put it on top of the burger. Absolutely. And here is just a little bit of um, chips. And there you go. Um, so thank you so much for coming and eating with us today. And um, we will see you next time on Hot and Easy. We're going to eat now. So see you later. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Just trying to find